To understand how AI code editors like Klein and Roo are different, let's do a quick review first. This is how most people used to code with AI. You copied and pasted a small portion of your code, and then ChatGPT responded with a finished code, and you manually pasted it back to your code base. Klein and Roo changed this process by essentially acting on your behalf to orchestrate this entire process. Now, this is nice and cool, but there's one key component that helps makes all of this work smoothly, and that's the system prompt. Klein and Roo will compile a set of instructions that outlines how an LLM should engage with your repository. And this system prompt is where we start to see divergence between Klein and Roo. The main source of contention comes down to this. How much control should users have over the system prompt? It's sort of like the analogy of automatic versus manual transmission. Klein asserts that people just want a reliable car that gets them from point A to point B, while Roo asserts that people should be given the option to decide exactly when to shift gears and engage the clutch for peak performance. In order to distinguish these tools, let's break it down to three main segments to compare. First, how they interact with your repository. Second, how they interact with you. And third, how they interact with an LLM. Starting with Klein, Klein interacts with your repository by doing a breadth first search in your workspace and appends the first few hundred of them into the system prompt. Klein also creates checkpoints along each iteration so that you can revert your code base back to at any point. Let's see how Klein interacts with you. Chat is the main method that Klein uses to interact with you. Since Klein is working on your behalf, it keeps you in the loop by giving you real-time feed on how much token it's using and what it's costing you. And the interface is clean and intuitive. Just like an automatic transmission, Klein runs in either plan or act mode, which is a simple system that toggles between stop and think or go and do. Finally, let's see how Klein interacts with an LLM. Once you hit your act mode, Klein will recursively communicate back and forth with an LLM until it finishes your task. Klein allows some customizations to be made by using their Klein rule feature, which gets appended to the bottom of the system prompt, and the LLM will adhere to the specific rules that you give to give some guardrails. Let's see how this looks like in Roo. Roo interacts with your code base very similar to Klein. In fact, Roo can pretty much do everything that Klein can do. Just like Klein, it will search your entire repository and create checkpoints to revert back to. However, it allows more customizations like having granular control over what terminal commands are safe to run in your repository. Let's look at how Roo interacts with you. The biggest difference in Roo compared to Klein is around what's called mode. Roo provides preset modes like code, architect, ask, debug, and orchestrator, as well as the ability to create custom modes. Modes are essentially a snapshot of system prompt that you want to save to use later. Finally, Roo's interaction with an LLM gives you a little bit more room to fine tune things. You can adjust parameters like temperature and set custom intervals between API calls, which is useful when you're using models that tend to be rate limited by certain providers. There are so many notable features to get into like Spark and power steering, but I wanted to capture really the spirit of what makes these tools so different. Although Roo is a fork of Klein, the direction on how these two applications have gone are quite distinct in what their true North Star is. As you get to use both tools, you will find that you will gravitate toward one system over the other. And that all depends on your perspective of how work should be done and what the best tool for the job is.